Welcome back to What Arty Noobs with General Disturbance. This is the AMX Canon Dassault 105. It's a tier 8 premium French tank destroyer and it's located on the north spawn of El Halouf under the command of Slimy Akata Philo. Now the AMX CDA, as it's otherwise known, is actually uh, a design that was put forward by AMX but never actually put into production. 105mm gun, very thick armor at the front, and it's actually quite a good tank destroyer. In fact, it's a very good tank destroyer. So many people have actually tried it and said, yeah, this is really good. Okay. Well, in company with an AMX 1375 and a Cromwell, Sly Meerkat is moving to the uh, northwest corner of the map. Not sure if he's going to stop along the way. The Cromwell's going to have a quick look. Yeah, he's found somebody, an AMX 12 ton. But it's not a good idea to go over that lip because uh, there may be tanks watching from a distance just to see if anybody comes over that. So, much better to go where Sly just went in because you've got somewhere you can duck into slightly. Okay, we've got an STG over there. Or an LTG, sorry. And he gets one round into him for 351. That's a very good shot. Now the alpha damage is 390. Penetration 260. And that 260 goes up to 310 when you use heat ammo. Now I know Wargaming like to call it special ammo, but... No, it's just heat, that's all. Okay, 12 tons actually doing a bit of um, proxy spotting there along the um, the line near the cliff, near the edge of our cap area. And somebody really ought to do something about that because that's a bit naughty. Okay, I wonder actually if Sly's going to spank him. He's coming down this corner. We do know there's an SU-100 over to the um, south, as well as an SU-152. So again, if you go over that lip and they see you, they might try a shot. Well, it looks like Sai is responding to the fact that the enemy is actually making incursions near the cap, and other people are pinging the map. Oh, 12 tons have gone down. And Sly's going to take up a position, I think, near his cap rather than going off onto the northwest corner. Oh! Now, there is an SU-152, but he's behind that rock face. We can't do anything about him. In fact, the other tanks appear to be around the corner. The only one that isn't is potentially that SU-152. There he is, and we have got a shot at him. Good hit! 372. It's a low roll, but can he get another one in? Reload is 9.7 seconds. He is going to pull back. He's trying another shot, but I'm not sure if that connected. But that LTTB is just around the corner. And now he's come up. Auto aim? Yep. One auto aim, but it's a high roll. And we've got an AMX 1375 come over to deal with that LTTB. And the SU-152 tried to shot back, but bounced. And that's what I'm saying. This armor on the front of the AMX is very, very good. You can see two rounds of bounce. One off the front plate and one went off the Capona as well. Okay, well, we lost our Hellcat to the SU-152. So we know he's still there. And we've got a Firefly spotting in the center. It's a bit risky going down here, actually, because um, reversing back up the slope will be slow and that could give the SU-152 another chance. It looks like Sly is interested in putting a shot to that. Firefly. Oh, he's got an eight, and he does. 395, and it's a high roll. But is he going to die, drive down to that rock? Yes, he is. Okay, because this is quite a good place to be if you're going to take pot shots at the enemy tanks they're trying to come around the northwest corner. Okay, now I think he's spotted that T-3485 going up the other side. And that's a perfect opportunity to get another kill. Oh, just took around from Carbon. But he puts one into the uh, T-3485 and he's turned, he's uh, killed him. Or somebody else killed him actually. It was the GW Panther got him. But that action 10. Oh, he ricochets off him as well. 
but he's going to have to get behind this rock otherwise the Carnarvon's going to return fire. So he's just holding back, going to try another time. Can he get a shot in? Yes. Yep, he does. 385. That's a nice bit of return fire because um, the Carnarvon only got him for 223. So he certainly spanked that guy and made it an inexorable exchange for him. Now, we seem to have captured the northwest corner, but unfortunately we've lost all of our teammates around our camp area, and the LTG is in our base area, last seen near the spawn point. In fact, actually, we're now down to just four tanks. We just lost the... Uh, the enemy just lost their IS, but we've got four tanks against the enemy six. So we... Oh, and we've got a Skoda behind us. He's crossing the valley. We're going to have to turn and deal with him. So he's got that three-shot magazine, but it's paper thin armor. 417 hit points he lost, and we're bouncing his 75mm rounds. And there's not a lot you can do because he's reloading now. And yep, yeah, that's it. Goodbye. He's back in the garage. He made a classical error. The Skoda is not uh, invincible. It's actually paper thin armor, but it's got an automatic gun can belch out three rounds, but if you're coming up against something with a 105mm gun with very strong armor, you are going to come a cropper. And there, the ISU-152 gets himself tracked, and we're going to have to wait the 10 seconds to fire another one in. He's going to untrack in the meanwhile, but we've actually gone unspotted. We fired one in, and I'm pretty sure that that did connect. But he's gone unsighted, which means he is outside view range. And we're probably outside his view range as well. Now, we're down to three now. And this is a bit of a cul-de-sac. I'm not sure he can get up that cliff. No, nope, I wouldn't try it. I think he's just holding up here, waiting for the LTG to come into view. He's using this as an ambush site. Hoping that the LTG is going to come try and find him. Or wait until he starts capping and then hit him. I doubt if the enemy is going to cross the valley because they know that we've got two tanks to the north. One of those is the um, the Black Prince and the other one is the Jagdpanther. And here comes the LTG. Oh, tracked him. Now, 10 seconds. He's going to use his repair kit and he did. Now we're going to have to ram him. And we do. We get 70 off him. And can we finish him off? Yes! Nicely done. So, we're now up to two kills. We did lose some hit points in the process, 188, but we've still got enough to do the job. So the enemy are now down to four, and oh no, those are behind the rock. We're going to have to drive over the other side. We just lost the Black Prince. So I think Sly's going to have to go around. He's getting pinged by the Black Prince at the moment. He's saying the Black Prince is telling him to go to G1 and to cut through the valley. He, uh, he's actually saying to the Black Prince, I did say for you to come back, but no. So he's not going to do that. Instead, he's actually heading back to his cap. And I think he's going to try and get shots on the enemy as they try to chase the Panther around that uh, gap. Or is he? This is unusual. Oh, we just lost the Yag Panther, so it's now one against four. Now, according to my reckoning, Sly now has a high calibre. But he's also got one hell of a tank destroyer. If these ever come on sale again, it's well worth getting one if you can. Is he going to set up an ambush for the enemy? Well, the enemy's going to be cocky because they're thinking it's four versus one. So where is Sly going to go? Well, this place actually does give him the best options because from here, he has got an escape route if he needs to. Or is he going to go up these heights? Well, he's certainly keeping me guessing. I'm wondering if he's going to try and set up an ambush position to get them from when they come towards the cap. Because they will definitely try to cap. But I I think the SU-152s are both on their way over here right now. 
and that they'll take the long route round. Okay, he's going to use these bushes just here. Now they've got, according to my figures, they've probably got about one third to a quarter of their health. The only, the only tank destroyer which is actually healthy is their SU-152 um, with the noob in it who's back at their cap. But they've got one advantage. They've got one RT and it's an M44 unfortunately. Uh, one of the best RTs in the game, if not the best RT in the game. Capable of one shot every 16 seconds if he's got a good crew and using premium consumables and that means that the moment that Sly spotted he's going to have to move because otherwise the naughty round is going to be right after him. The only reason the arty is not firing right now is because he doesn't know where he is and he's conserving his shells and his ammunition and waiting for the moment that Sly spotted. Now Sly can pull back and use the bush mechanic the moment that he does spot them but their sixth sense is going to go off three seconds later so he's only got a fraction of time before the enemy knows. And here they are. He pulls back. The six sense is going to go off. Oh, he takes the first one out with one shot. Now the other one won't know where the shot came from because the other one was wiped out immediately. But he's going into the cap and... Oh, he sucks a big hit. A high roll. And again, he used the bush mechanic and he's going to do the same again as soon as this reloads. He doesn't need to... Uh, Pull, he does need to pull forward, fires another round in, but the SU-152 is now firing blind because he doesn't know where Sly is. And Sly's going to get the third one in, and oh, he misses! He misses! Now he's going to have to wait a second or so. Okay, is he going to change position? Well, he knows there's another SU ISU-152 just around the corner. I think he's going to change bushes and approach that one from a different direction. They both know he's over here. Oh, he's using the wreck for cover. And he takes him out. One shot, 51 hit points. But there's still that ISU 152 and there's the RT rounds. I think they know whereabouts he is. And here's the ISU 152. And he takes him out with one shot, 264. That's beautiful. Now he needs to keep moving and get the hell out of there before the RT fires again. He's going to go and spot it, and there's the RT. The RT came over. He's over here, so he can see Sly. Oh, he misses. Now he needs to get move on. He needs to get out of here quick, because the M44 is going to fire accurate rounds. As soon as he's got his reload in, he fires his reload. Now he's got 16 seconds to kill that M44 before he's reloaded again. And he does! And wins the game! And a Top Gun! Fantastic play by Sly Meerkat of Philo. That was brilliant. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat of Philo in the AMX Cannon de So 105. He got a hand of God for surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks. A bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got seven. A duelist badge for taking down two tanks who did damage to him during the battle. A fire for effect for doing more damage than the hit points of your own vehicle. A shell proof for blocking more damage than the hit points of your own vehicle. A high caliber for getting the highest damage in the battle. A tank sniper for doing the most damage at a distance of 300 meters or more. And a top gun for getting at least six kills and he did get six exactly during that game oh my god that was a really really good round and i think he really carried his team on his back all the way to the finishing line and won so let's have a look at the team scores well just look at that top score 4951 hit points of damage in one game um from a tier 8 tank destroyer. He got the highest number of kills, 6. The next highest scorer was the LTG that he wiped out. He got 4 kills. Um, because, of course, he came up into the back area and killed all of um, uh, Sly Meerkat's uh, teammates who were uh, up near the spawn point. And when it came to base XP, he got a clean sweep, top of the board, 1,390 base experience points. He certainly earned that ace tanker in a big way by getting that score. Uh, and it's huge to get those three at the top and you can see that he nobody worked harder than him during that game well maybe the gw panther on his team who managed to get three kills and one quarter or in fact actually a quarter a, a fifth of the damage that he did but he certainly saved the game so let's have a look at the detail report 
22 shots fired, 19 direct hits, 16 penetration. Shows his accuracy with this gun. And this shows that it's got fairly good penetration, although he did miss on a few of those rounds. And those were the rounds fired at distance at the uh, tank destroyers over the other side of the valley. So you, you can understand why the shells might have hit the tracks rather than actually penetrated the tank. He did damage of 4,951 hit points, of which 1,487 were at more than 300 meters, and most of those shots were shot across the valley. He received nine hits from the enemy, three of them penetrated, five didn't penetrate, and one hit as a result of splash damage. And this goes to show as well that the, the, the armor on the AMX CDA is actually quite tough. I mean, to, to bounce or non-penetrate five rounds is pretty good going. He blocked damage of 1,350 hit points. He spotted one enemy vehicle, that was the M44, who hadn't been seen the entire battle. And I thought he was still over the other side. I didn't realise that he'd actually driven all the way over to support the uh, TDs as they were doing their attack. He damaged 10 of the enemy, killed 6 of them, and did damage assistance of 135 hit points. He also got 17 defence points when he took out those TDs in the cap. On a premium account, he earned 126,176 credits. And with the holiday ops, he managed to get 82,014 credits. And after repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 175,590 credits from one battle. That is an amazing score. It really is fantastic. And even if you take out the personal missions payout, the holiday ops total, you are still looking at a sum of, uh, what is it, uh, 7,000? It's 93,000 credit profit, even if there was no holiday ops. So it's a huge score, massive. Uh, mind you, it did take his skill. It took Sly Meerkat's skill to get that score. He received 2,085 XP times 2 for the first victory of the day, 1,147 personal missions payout, and 209 XP because this is a premium vehicle. So his total came to 5,526 experience points altogether. Now, it's an absolutely fantastic battle, and it's a credit to Sly Meerkat of Philo that he did this. And uh, Sly was one of the uh, gentlemen who actually had and tested out the Panhard EBR recently, and I think he had a lot of fun with that as well because. Uh, Sly's quite an expert, and uh, this was certainly a very, very good battle indeed, and I'm very pleased that we're able to do this one for him. Um, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel, and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.